frequenting the local establishments, there is a hipster, a purveyor of the latest trends, and wearer of all that is Jean. His long beard and Ray-Ban sunglasses is only shields against the tyranny of the system. It's said when this man introduces himself, he does not give his name, but will ask for what you have on tap. He is an eco-friendly Radiohead fan, and his name is Grapefruit IPA. Yeah, man! Welcome to the Frickcast and to the Dr. Squatch Soap Guides. Today we have the Grapefruit IPA, a refreshing bar that's up to date with the latest fashion. This is an often overshadowed bar that would seem as if it should be much more popular than it is. It rocks a great scent and features beer and hops, so why has it not gotten back the love it provides to the earth? Well, let's see if this bar is criminally underrated or just pretentious. Like a strong IPA, you'll smell this bar before you even see it. However, in this case, it's a good thing as the citrus scent the IPA boy has is... Noish. That citrus, of course, being grapefruit. Now, grapefruit is often seen as a superfood. It's also good for brightening and toning skin. Unfortunately, grapefruit isn't in this bar, aside from maybe its natural fragrance, essential oil. But we do have beer and hops. Firstly, beer is pretty good for your skin, believe it or not. The fermented beverage is full of nourishing vitamins that cleanse, brighten, and replenish. Now, hops is also solid in the realm of skincare as it is known for its moisturizing and scar-reducing benefits. While it's not highlighted, the brick also has annatto powder, which has soothing and healing properties, but is also commonly used in soaps as a natural colorant, which gives our brick here its amber hue, reminiscent of a cold one. The bar that was once Crisp IPA changed its name to Grapefruit IPA, likely in part because this imperial brick smells just like you'd think. It's a heavy grapefruit smell with a hint of hops. It's not an overly hoppy bar. It's definitely more grapefruit, but there is a bit there, like pale ale levels, and it leads to a revitalizing, healthy-smelling brick. It's definitely its strong suit, even though it isn't all that potent, being a bit more of medium strength. Still, after a long, hard day of day drinking, there may not be a more welcoming scent. Now, as we know, scent isn't everything in a good squatch brick, so how does the soap hold up in the shower? It's not bad. It's a solid exfoliation-free bar that does leave you feeling quite clean, though it's a pretty standard squatch soap. The beer and hops do help to moisturize and tone your skin. It's actually one of the more refreshing bars to use, especially in the summer, and especially if you're someone who enjoys a shower beer. The nifty combo of this bar and a brew is unmatched. Now, as for my thoughts, every time I'm about to use this bar, I smell it and wonder why it's not a more popular scent. And when you use it, it's a bar that has nothing wrong with it. Yet, this hoppy brick just doesn't feel like it holds up well against a good portion of others. Even though its juicy scent and moisturizing qualities are great on their own, it just lacks that extra something that some other bars have. And for that, I have to rank it as rather nifty. It's a good brick, and being considered more middle of the Squatch Pack is by no means a bad thing. It's just overshadowed by great company. Still, I do find myself coming back to this hipster soap every now and again, as it really is a refreshing bar. I also think the Grapefruit IPA flavor does need to be shown some love outside of just the soap. But that's just my opinion, and I'd like to hear yours in the comments. How do you feel about this citrus and beer bar? Do you think the flavor deserves to be the next deodorant? Or do you think it's a fading fad? Like a good IPA, it's not often ordered by most, but every once in a while you'll see this grapefruit brick on tap, and remember that it can certainly hit the spot.